New day. We're back in the RX-8. Uh, the check engine light's still on after we replace the uh, the pump. Uh, looking more into it, I need to replace the valve as well for it, uh, which I bought. Got it in the back. Uh, it's just really hard to get to and replace. Like normally, you could just pop the top off and just replace the valve itself, but it's connected to the piping, and the piping runs to the cat and where the belt bolts are, are too close to the like intake manifold. So it, or the, uh, I think it's the inti in intake itself, I have to look at it and see where it is. But either way, uh, it's hard to do, and uh, so we've got a day ahead of us. We're gonna have to pull that thing apart, and uh, you know, do all the things again. So I'm letting this warm up because I'm parked under a carport and it's really cold. We gotta park in the sun to do this, so. Yeah, uh, let's get to it. So back in there, so that's our new header. Uh, it doesn't look very pretty anymore. Uh, I've been driving it a little while. I can't really clean it being where it's at. But up above there, that pipe right there that's shooting on up, that nice clean guy, that's what we got to remove. We got to take those two bolts out from the header right there. And this is going to be our uh, valve that goes with our air pump here. Uh, sorry for the clanking noises, I apologize, but yeah, so got the new one. Let's open it here All right, so this is gonna be the new uh, Valve for the header. It's uh, what it does. It's like a gate that opens <clears throat> and closes for when it's hot and cold for the pump to heat up the catalytic converter So right here is our new valve right here in the bottom as you can see there's this little flap in there I guess these fail. I didn't think mine would be failed, but it's showing as failed. So, and it's not letting me pass emissions. We need to do that. So, yeah, we just need to get in there, take these two bolts off from the top up here, which I showed you, but we can't get to it. Let me show you why we can't get to that. So our main issue right here uh, is is right here pretty much. There's There's just no room down and under there to get to that bolt, which you can't see too well. But as you see, it's cluttered. So I can't really get to it, but that's okay. Let's just go ahead and uh, find some tools and start unbolting things. I've taken it off before, but I had the engine dropped and everything. Um, I actually don't know if I can film with you guys in here, so I need to get to that guy. Hold on. Need to get to that guy right there, which I need to get a longer one of these. I don't have. I mean, I have one, but it's not. It's a. I've got half inch instead of a quarter inch or whatever. Um, and then behind it is even harder to get to. So I think we unbolt these. I'm gonna put you guys away for a minute instead, and then we'll go up top. All right. So I got a little head start, and I started disconnecting the hoses. I got those unscrewed down there. I'm leaving it loose just because I don't want to take it off. It's a pain in the ass to line back up. Uh, so if we can just get enough free play in this, like that where I can actually get to it, that'd be really cool. But I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see in there, but there's a tiny bolt in there uh, that holds this whole thing together. I just need to get in there and unscrew it. found our issue so if we take a look at this here let me show you so you see how it's really charred up in there and blackened um, I, I don't think it's supposed to be like that it's a whole bunch of carbon pulled up uh, a whole bunch of nonsense we can still look at it and see if the valve is actually stuck but I'm feeling in here yeah so you see that hole uh, with the fresh screws undone uh, that's supposed to feed to the cat to cool it down from the air injection system. I'm filling in there and I don't feel any holes or anything. I think this header just has the spot for it, you know? But it doesn't actually feed anything to the cat. Um, which I could be wrong, so let's do this. See, I, I've got the old cat in here still. And you see how Sorry, this thing's heavy. So, 
see how that guy feeds all the way through? That feeds straight back and into the cat. That just goes through the header. But that is a solid hole that loops all the way down through here. Oh, don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know if I can pass emissions with that or not. I don't even know why they have the option to put the injection system on it. Anyways, if, uh, if there's no spot for it, this thing might be totally fine. That makes sense why the code is reading for uh, indirect airflow. I spent a lot of money on these parts. Totaled like a few grand. Not a few grand, but like 1300 bucks or so. And it's not easy to get to. To pull it out, you have to reroute it out through the bottom and everything and undo from the like a, a mount over here, which is really hard to get to. And lining up this gasket's a pain. Let me look into it. Let me keep working on this. While I sit here and brainstorm, let's go ahead and swap over the new part. New parts don't hurt anyways. I'm sure this is blown as it was forcing air back at the valve, uh, which would be why we have the code. I just want to show you guys something. This is way caked. Like, so caked and shit. Like, burnt. I kind of don't want to be sticking that onto the new one like that. Yeah, that is definitely charred to a crisp. I mean, it's done for. I don't know if you can see on the light okay or not, but... Oh, yeah. She is done compared to the other one, which looks nothing like that. I mean, that's fresh and clean. We're doing something wrong, didn't we? Um, can't decide if I want to put the old uh, header on or not. I need to pass, so I'm trying to decide what to do. But let me clean up that pipe. I'll be right back. All right, so it is a new day. Um, I, I, I had to, like, stop filming yesterday and, and buy some parts and things to try to make this work. Uh, you guys look a little bit dirty. Is that, is that looking okay? Yeah. So, one thing I needed to buy, uh, was an OBD reader so I can clear the codes. I'm tired of going to the auto shops and whatnot, uh, which is fine because it also checks for, uh, missions and stuff, so that's really cool. Check to see if things are ready, but I think I fixed it. Check this out. So I did already install the new uh, valve and everything, got bolted in there, hooked up the vacuum line uh, and the hose from the pump. So if we look in here, uh, can you see, yeah. So you see the hose right there. I don't actually have it bolted to the header. I'm thinking that if we're lucky, uh, it'll let the air bypass just through the chamber right there. Cause there's not really that hole doesn't lead to the cat or anything. It's just there to bolt that. I don't know why they did that. Um, man, my bushings are looking bad. Um, but <laughs> so I'm hoping when it does turn on, it just spits the air out of there, kind of like a exhaust leak. But in this case, it'd be a good thing. Uh, so if that pushes the air out, then the code should read as normal. It's re not going to say indirect airflow or anything. Man, those bushings are really bad. Okay, time for new bushings. That is horrible. Look at that. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the code. If this does work, I'm going to put some spacers in there and bolt it down just because I'm not going to leave shit loose, you know, and let it break. Man, those bushings are horrible. Okay. So, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, yes, try the code. See if it shows on there. I think it will. Let's see. So here it is. Uh, I picked this up at Walmart for like 40 bucks, which I'm sure I got ripped off for, but you know, let's see if it works. So try alerting this thing. 
I'm gonna clear that misfire just because I know it's from when it was cold. Uh, it misfires when it's cold and that's because my uh, coils. I need to put new ones in. I think I'm just gonna clear the codes and then we'll run it and then see if they come back on. I'm gonna go ahead and try to find some spacers to throw in there uh, and we'll, we'll go from there. So let's, let's do that. Let's go ahead and start it and see what happens. So with the injection system, it only runs for like 60 seconds as soon as you start the car cold. So the car's cold, haven't, hasn't been driven in a little bit. And then we're gonna also have to rip around the lot a little bit. Uh, you know, being rotary, they can't just be started and then turned off and you let warm up and rip it around, getting the RPMs, uh, probably bringing it with, just have a little bit of fun. But let's go ahead and start it and then check and listen. So let's open the door, get ready. Pump our clutch a few times, I still feel like this clutch is iffy, but let our fuel pump do its thing. Okay. Alright, she's probably gonna misfire on us. She's blowing. And who knows, maybe that'll actually help with our uh, misfire because it's creating a vacuum when, the, when it was sealed. And maybe now that I've cleared that up, maybe uh, there isn't a vacuum leak anymore or like a back pressure of some sort, I'm not too sure. Uh, for instance, right now it does sound like it's running really, really good for when it's cold. Uh, I cleared the code so it's not there, of course. Yeah, see the fan just turned off. I still need to get my radiator thing fixed. Uh, I checked the system, the cooling system is fine. It's just I messed up the sensor on it when I uh, flushed the radiator last time. So I, I guess that's a thing, a common thing on the arc say is the tanks are garbage. Probably gonna go for a, like an alum, aluminum one or something. But cool, yeah, let's let her warm up. And she's running good. Call me crazy guys, but I think we actually fixed uh, more than what we just did. It's running really good right now. It's not idling really weird like it normally does. Um, it's warming up fairly nice. Like, I think that did actually cause like a vacuum issue with the way it was set up before. So I'm really stoked on that if that's the case. I mean, of course we still need to break everything in, make sure that's true. But she's sounding good. She ain't smoking or anything. And before in the morning, she would smoke really bad. Um, and I, I think that was from the vacuum. So, and it's still fairly cold today. It's like in the 50s, which, yeah, I mean, I've, I've ran it colder than that. It's had issues, but she's doing okay. Sorry for the lawnmowers in the background. Get her first. Sorry for the messy car. Been working on it. The pedal response is really good too, and I'm hearing on the forums that the pump can actually give you some, well the air injection can give you some issues with uh, limp mode and things like that and I'm, it feels like it's got a lot more response. She sounds better. Now we gotta fix the eclipse so I can sell that thing. Let's go ahead and park next to it. Sounds like she still needs belts, but it, from what I hear too though, it could also be um, the fact that the cat, the way the cat sits, I guess it's common as well. So we'll see, but I think she's good. She's running. Um, once uh, Ciara gets home, maybe we'll try to go get registered. I'm gonna, with the OBD, it'll tell me if the codes are ready. So. I'll make things way easier. But I stripped it around a little bit. Let's go ahead and shut her off. Let's grab the keys for the Eclipse really quick though because that has some major issues. The transmission's blown. 
it's Christmas tree on the dash, check engine light, which this didn't happen. I, I went to I went to Walmart to get an oil change. It was really cold one day. I don't care about the cars, I need to get the oil done. And when the wife and I came back, her engine blew and my engine blew at the same time. So yeah, that's why I give her the one time I go to Walmart because I was lazy. Don't be lazy, just work on your goddamn car. So yeah, let's also check the oil on that too. See if they even did any did change. Maybe they didn't put any oil in it. Let's find out. All right, now we're in the eclipse. Yeah, we're in the eclipse. This thing is destroyed. It's a mess. But so um, let's go ahead, plug the OBD in, uh, and see what she says. And then after that, let's check the oil. See if Walmart even did the oil change. Do you think they did? I don't either. Okay, let me plug it in. Can you see me okay from right here? I hope so. <laughs> random, or ran, random multiple misfire. So in other words, this engine's cooked. Which I kind of figured. It looks pretty good actually. Maybe they did actually do the oil. Could be wrong. Wrong filter maybe though. That could be it. Um, either way, we got the uh, RX-8 pretty solid, I think. I uh, need to scan or drive it for a bit to make sure that the code is good. So, I think I call it a day from here, even though it's been a couple days, but YouTube magic. Um, stay tuned. We'll see if we can actually get that thing registered. Uh, if we can, then you know we're going to start driving it and drifting it and having a blast. And then seriously though, soon, a big project is coming that I've been having worked on for the past year and oh, it's going to be so good. Just just watch out for that. Just watch out. Anyways guys, thanks you, uh, thanks you. thank you for staying around. Uh, you guys are great. If you'd like, please comment, subscribe, like, all that funny stuff, share it, I don't care, or just watch. But yeah, you all have a great day now. Catch you later.